I think in the end, we are the stories that we tell. And your faith is the story that you tell about yourself. You get to choose that story. For me, uh, cinema and faith got linked because when I was a little boy, my dad used to take me to a cinema in the middle of Liverpool, which is gone now, it was in the Williamson Square. Right, I must be the last person on earth to remember this, but they had like a Saturday morning program for children and we would sit in there and watch, um, you know, a Lauren Hardy film and a cartoon and stuff. And it, was like, it was like about an hour and they would come back and get us. Uh, but it became this, uh, church, this cinema became that I used to go to became a church that I used to go to. So I've always had the two things completely mixed up in my head. And to this day, I will sometimes sit, if I arrive early for mass, I'll sometimes be sitting on the bench thinking, when's the, you know, when are the curtains going to open? When's Pearl and Dean going to kick in? And I'll very occasionally, if I'm in a multiplex, I might genuflect at the end of a row before going to sit in my seat. So they've always been completely mixed up in my head. <laughs> I do remember working on uh, the film Millions with Danny Boyle and that's a story about a little boy who sees saints and I never really consciously pick stories to do, I've started to, to sort of pick stories to do with faith recently but when I was starting out I never used to do that but there, was, there were things that call out to you that you don't know and, and actually as you work on a story you work to find out what, what is calling you to that and it would always end up being something. Um, religious. There's a story that uh, during the Holocaust some people in Auschwitz decided to put God on trial for breaking his covenant. God on trial is like a really important thing for me. It's a television play. Mark Redhead, the producer who's very interested in trials, asked me to write that and I love Mark so I wanted to say yes but I felt very hesitant about it because it sort of felt a bit blasphemous. And the story, which feels very like a, a kind of traditional Jewish parable, is that they find God guilty. And then one of the rabbis says, what do we do now? And the other one says, now we pray. And I spent months and months and months just reading about the Holocaust. That is definitely going to make you question everything your faith, but also your faith in humanity, your faith in the virtues of civilization, the possibility of civilization. If it doesn't, then you're just not reading closely enough. La Rochefort said that um, a small fire is, a small fire gets bigger if you blow on it, um, but a weak fire goes out. end we are the stories that we tell and your faith is the story that you tell about yourself you get to choose that story the, the big virtue of believing in something beyond yourself is that it liberates you from this little tiny kingdom in your skull and I think that's that is what both faith and stories do they take you out a really good story takes you out and writing a good story takes you out and that's what faith does too.